Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel Mexico Tech. You are watching series Introduction to Graph Theory. In the previous video, we looked at directed graphs, its properties, and its connectivity and reachability. In this video, we are going to look at the weighted graphs and how to find the shortest part between nodes in a graph. For this, we will be covering one of the major logarithms for the shortest path in graphs called the Jaskara logarithm. So let's get started. A weighted graph is a graph where each edge or arc is associated with a real value that could be zero or above and not infinity. This weight can represent either distance between nodes, capacity or bandwidth of the roots between nodes, or could also represent energy required by a node to move the data packet from one source to destination. The application of this is finding the shortest path between the nodes. Why? To save energy, to save bandwidth, etc. So the idea is to find the shortest path from vertex V0 to all other vertices. Start, in the, start with the set S with the source vertex itself V0. Add a vertex closest to V0 into the set S. Append S by adding vertex closest to V0 through one of its vertices in the S. Stop when there is no more vertices left. Let us look at an example of uh, implementing this shortest path logarithm called Tijestra logarithm. We have eight nodes or vertices, whatever you want to call them, with weights assigned on each edge representing distance from one node to another. Starting from V0, the possible paths are to V2, V3, and V4 with weights 3, 1, and 6 respectively. So we will connect V0 with V3 because that has the shortest path. Mark the V3 node as V0 and the weight 1. Now we have an additional of another possible path from V0 to V1 through a neighbor node V3 with total distance of 8. This time taking the shortest distance which is 3 to V2. Store a variable named V0 in the node V2. So basically this variable will tell that in order to go to V0 you need to go to the neighbor which is V0 itself. Moving on, now the total paths are 4 taking the shortest to V5 from V2 with total weight 4. And we will continue to do the same until we have reached all of the nodes from V0. Note that we have find out the shortest path from all of the nodes in a graph to V0. So let's say if a data packet comes to V7 and it is destined for V0, then the path it will follow is by looking at the local variable V0, which is stored in V7 node, indicating that go to the nearest node V6 in order to follow the shortest path. V6 will then forward the node to V3, which will then finally deliver the packet to V0. Similarly, every node keeps a record of all other nodes' variables in their memory, just like I have shown you in the V1, so that every node can forward the packet to its nearest neighbor, following all the way to this destination node. That is all for this video. I hope it was informative for you guys, and if it was, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you are new to this channel. This is going to keep us motivated to bring such useful stuff to you guys in the future. In the next video, we are going to look at trees and spanning trees with some major logarithms involved. So stay tuned. I will see you in the next one. Take care.